Good morning. This is Wednesday, April 21st, and today's devotion is Don't Hurt the Lord. This is John 14. Have I been with you so long, Philip, and yet you have not known me? Our Lord must be repeatedly astounded at us, astounded at how unsimple we are. It is our own opinions that make us dense and slow to understand. But when we are simple, we are never dense. Think children. We have a discernment all the time, and children do. Children have a discerning gift of knowing. Philip expected the future revelation of a tremendous mystery, but not in Jesus, the person. He thought he already knew Jesus. The mystery of God is not what it's going to be. It's now. I love that. It's right now. You're living in the mystery of God. We are living in the mystery of God. Us sharing this scripture today, that's the mystery of God revealed. And I love that. It's a revealed mystery, and we're standing right in the middle of it. Too often, we look for it to be revealed in the future somewhere, in some overwhelming, monumentous event. It might be, but we need to understand that we're living in it right now. We have no reluctance to obey Jesus, but it is highly probable that we are hurting him by what we ask. When we say, Lord, show us the Father, that's John 14. His response immediately comes back and he says, can't you see him? He's always right here or he's nowhere to be found. He's in Christ, that's what he's saying here. We look for God to exhibit himself to his children, but God only exhibits himself in his children. That's a great phrase. And while others see the evidence, the child of God may not. We want to be fully aware of what God is doing in us, but we cannot have complete awareness and expect to remain reasonable or balanced in our expectations of him. If we are all, excuse me, if all we are asking God to give us is experience or experiences and the awareness of those experiences blocking our way, then we hurt God. The very question we ask may hurt Jesus, because they are not questions of a child. Isn't that true? Don't you find the innocence of a child's questions so endearing? They can draw you so near and make you love them so much. This is a scripture that says, Let not your heart be troubled. Am I then hurting Jesus by allowing my heart to be troubled? If I believe in Jesus and his attributes, am I living up to my belief? Am I allowing anything to disturb my heart, or am I allowing any question to come in, any questions to come in which are unsound or unbalanced? I have to get to the point of absolute and unquestionable relationship, one that takes over everything exactly as it comes from God. And a great way to think of that is when the kids were little and they'd get up, they were in such a relationship with me that their day was their day in me. We worked together in me when they were little. We'd get up and we'd get in the car, we'd go somewhere, or we'd stop at the beach and we'd swim, or we'd stop at the restaurant and get something to eat. They didn't say, what about this and what about that? They just had their life, their living at that moment, through innocence, was in me, the Father. That's what he's saying. Can we live like that? Can we live in the Father? And just go, just go with it. Not be cavalier about our responsibilities. They, they had chores to do. But their lives were in dad. I have to get to the point of absolute and unquestionable relationship that takes everything exactly as it comes from God. God never guides us at some time in the future. He's guiding us in the here and now. Realize this. Realize that the Lord Jesus is here now. And the freedom you receive from that understanding is immediate. It's now. That's, that's John 8. Jesus was trying to give that to those young scribes that were listening to him. He said, I see you're listening to my words. If you believe in my words, in the truth of my words, that truth will set you free. It's immediate. It's like that. So the challenge I have is, are we living up to what we say we believe? And can we be, as children, and just get up and trust Dad for the day? Be responsible for what's ours, but just trust Dad within our day. Don't come up with 40, 11 questions about this, that, and the other. Just trust him. As we did as kids, we get in the car and we just drive with Dad. Let's pray. Father, I thank you for uh, these challenges that you give us in our walk. I <clears throat> thank you for Oswald and his, uh, his diligence to write these things 
down. And now all these years later, we're receiving them and they're stretching and growing us. So Lord, let us be like little children today. As we go into our day, let it be as the kids, when they were little, they just get in the car and drive with dad and mom. No questions. They were just happy to be with us. May we be that with you today. And we ask this in Christ's name. Amen. God bless and I'll see you tomorrow.